Hello everyone, WolfieCast here, back with another Hero Basics video, where I take a hero from Gigantic and tell you exactly what each and every one of their abilities do at level 1. No upgrades, no talents, just jumping into the game. This time we have Taito. Taito is a melee damage dealer with the tag Assassin, so very much like Trip in some aspects, he's kind of all about the dodging and weaving in and out of fights as quickly as possible, just doing huge chunks of damage very rapidly or finishing off kills. And he's got a pretty good tool set to do that. He's also got like a lot of mobility, both vertically and uh, laterally. Before we go into any of his abilities, let's go over his stats. Taito has 1700 health as well as 15 armor. So a little bulkier than uh, a little bulkier than Trip makes up that little extra health with the fact that he does not have the stealth that she does. But uh, kind of the same ability and, and definitely a, a pretty decent damage output. So he's a little better at skirmishing with a little more health, but really should be ducking and weaving in and out of fights. Let's jump into his first ability, his LMB, which is called Talon. It's a three hit melee attack combo. The third hit strikes twice, dealing 195 damage total. Each attack does 110 initially, and then the third attack does the two strikes. Now this uh, kind of similar to Trip yet again, the two attacks at the end are actually, or sorry, the one attack at the end is just two attacks it really should just say that it's two attacks but you see just a, a pretty good chunk of damage over a very short amount of time and again with the with him being melee the melee range is a little forgiving in this game you don't have to be like brushed up against them for this to count so keep that in mind and uh yeah just good uh kind of good filler for him to use when you don't have any other abilities to use the right mouse button is next called swoop you leap to a target area and then attack with a forward dash the attack does 275 damage and has a 12 second cooldown so this is his mobility this is the way that he finishes off fights uh to either you know get himself out or to just swoop in and attack someone very rapidly and then maybe run away ideally you want to use this when they're low uh instead of really to initiate but you can use it to initiate if you really want but it looks like this you see the targeting area shows Kind of the circle on the end closer to me is where you land. And then that forward arrow in space is where you're going to be striking. And the cast range is not very far, but with the way that Taito moves, it definitely allows you to get to higher ledges uh, very quickly. But it looks like this. You just lunge forward. And I, I think it wants you to think that it'll hit multiple people, but I'm pretty sure you only hit one. I'm actually going to try that right now. I think you can only hit one person with this regardless, but I'm going to I'm going to try and see if that's not true. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can only hit one person. So keep that in mind. Next up is Titus Q, which is called Blade Dance. Swiftly spin in a uh, wide area, doing a lot of dam uh, da individual damage ticks over the course of the spin. Any skill uh, cancels the spin attack and you also gain extra movement speed while you're spinning. The attack duration increases uh, from 5 seconds up to 12 seconds the longer that you're spinning. So you can use Q again to end early. You can use any other attack to end early. Uh, of course, you can get interrupted. But initially, it has a 5 second cooldown. And if you do the full spin, it goes up to 12 seconds. And it looks like this. Very rapid individual strikes of damage over the course of the spin. It'll affect everyone that's near you. And this one is... This one's not quite as close as melee range. Like you, you do have to be a little bit closer than you might think to hit with this. But for the most part, you're going to be able to get a couple of chunks into a couple people, especially if you're like all up on somebody and you're focusing in on, on dealing damage to that person. Lastly, we have Taito's E, which is called Fang. Launches Fang, who is a little rat on, uh, on Taito's shoulder. Launch Fang towards the target. Deals 75 damage that ignores armor, and Fang will uh, latch onto them and cause them to bleed for 5 seconds, dealing 30 damage per second. It looks like this. You just launch it a bit a bit of a delay before it reaches the target, and it is technically a skill shot, like you do have to aim it, but it also has a, it also has a little bit of homing. Like you kind of have you kind of have to be mostly on the target, and then it'll kind of lock in. So long as they're in range, because it only has a it only has a 20 meter range, which is pretty long, all things considered. But just know that there is a it, it, Fang's just not going to travel until he hits something. 
And this is one of the very few instances in the game where the attack will actually ignore armor entirely. It's a really cool addition to his kit, just kind of doing that uh, burst. And it's this is a good way to start your attack because it's ranged and it's pretty easy to hit because it go he goes pretty fast and also homes in. So kind of start with Fang and then you want to, you know, get in there, start doing other things. And it's it's he, it kind of all flows together pretty well. And finally, Taito's focus, which is called blur. Rush forward 7.5 meters. Apply bleeding for four seconds to everyone that you hit while also doing a bit of damage. 250 starting at rank one and then focus points increase. The initial impact damage starts at 250, then rank two 350 and then rank three 450. And the bleed damage also increases per second starting at 100 bleeding, five, uh, 150 damage and then 200 damage per second, which is actually a lot of damage because if you have if you have a rank three and you hit a lot of people in that line and they can't get that cleanse, that's a lot of impact damage and a lot of uh, bleeding damage. It's 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 this is a this is a focus that's kind of hard to land because it's a pretty narrow line. But if you hit like two or three people, that's definitely something that they're going to notice because that that bleeding can really add up even even just rank one that bleeding that's around 750 or so damage. And that's not even accommodating for the other damage that you might be doing to them, like with Fang or your LMBs. Anyway, the focus looks like this. You target that space and then you just lunge forward very rapidly. And you will go through everybody that you, uh, that you kind of, th kind of along the way, you'll go through everybody uh, in your path and apply that burn and uh, not the burn, apply a bleed in the damage. Very, uh, very nice addition to his mobility. Kind of it, it makes him really hard to just pin down. It's like he's a blur. But that's it for Taito. You can see Taito, you know, very similar play style that you'd imagine to an assassin. Kind of about the mobility and, and you know, doing very rapid attacks in a very short amount of time. And he, he's got a he's got a learning curve for sure. But he's he he's effective. He's effective enough to be worth uh, kind of learning how to play. But thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, I also I, I appreciate you being here. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave comments and all that stuff because I do appreciate everything that you guys uh, I do appreciate that you guys watch these videos and I hope that that you are learning something. But anyway, have a good day and I will see you guys in the next one.